All right, so we're back. I just did a quick, you know, literally like 30 seconds with a hair dryer. Um, the key to the weathering, or at least for this technique, is you want to try and take the paint off while it's still a little bit, um, you know, not quite fully cured. Um, there is going to be a trick that we're going to do where we're actually going to leave this for a few hours, you know, or use a hair dryer um, to dry it even more when we do the, the oil layer. But um, for this layer, you actually don't want to leave it on too, too long. Um, even if you just put it aside for like five minutes, that's probably fine. Uh, what we're going to do now is you take your, your rag and what you do is you soak it under the sink and you get it really, really wet and then you want to wring almost all the water out of it. Um, just wring it all out. The problem is, is that if you, if you have it really dripping wet and you try and, and weather this and take it off, you're going to take almost all of it off, which is not what you want to do. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to try and remove some of the paint. Um, a trick to this is uh, don't you, you, if you want to get it crumpled, you can. What I'm kind of doing initially is just keeping the cloth a little bit flat. Um, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, sort of how hard I'm, I'm pressing down on stuff. And right now I'm kind of going maybe like, you know, three quarters. I'm not like rubbing it right off. I'm, I'm about kind of 75% pressure. Um, and what I'm trying to do is just, I'm trying to take, you know, a, a good amount of the paint off. And then I'm just leaving a lot of the brown, um, in kind of the recesses or what I call the low spots, right? So, you know, in any, you know, 3D object, you're going to have high spots and low spots, you know, so uh, to, to kind of give you a definition of that, you know, this would be a high spot here and these crevices here are low spots. You want to leave the dirt in there and kind of take a little bit more off the top. Um, when you're taking the, um, the paint off, you don't want to go in a straight line. If you do that, you're going to end up with straight lines in the weathering and it doesn't really look very good. So what you want to do is kind of just rub and, and, and twist it off, right? You can see it's already coming off pretty good here. Um, I'm just going to work my way around. You can see I'm actually pushing pretty hard and the, and the paint's already like stuck pretty good here. So again, you don't want to leave it too, too long. Um, and what you want to do is just work the rag around and remove, um, again, some of the paint. It's kind of nice when you can get these areas here where there's a little bit of paint left over. Um, but I, what I do first is this is just my first pass, so I'll just kind of take off um, a good chunk of the paint to reveal the, uh, the white underneath. And just again, to give you an example, you know, I'm saying this again, don't do this, but don't go like that because you see now you're going to get this straight line here and it, it kind of doesn't look so good. You can fix that just by kind of twisting it and making the line not straight. Um, and then instantly it's like, oh, cool. It looks a lot better now. So again, just kind of twisting, uh, working my way through. These are some nice low spots here in the armor. I'm going to try and leave um, dirt there. Try to think about, you know, if you were wearing the armor or, or a trooper was wearing the armor, you know, where is the dirt actually going to end up? Um, you know, they're, they're standing with their shin armor like this. You know, the bottom is probably going to be dirtier than the top. Um, you know, generally speaking, you know, your lower body, if you're, if you're trudging through the mud or the desert or whatever, probably your lower body is going to get, you know, dirtier than the top part. Um, so just kind of maybe keep that in mind in terms of even with like helmets and stuff, your helmet probably needs to be a little bit cleaner or not quite as dirty as, as you know, leg armor or shin armor. So just working my way around and you can see here, um, I'm doing a pretty good job of just taking it off. I'll try and do this entire piece pretty quick. I might speed up this film just to save a little bit of time.
All right, so um, I've gotten a good amount of it off. Um, I'm, I'm, again, I'm not trying to take everything off. I'm trying to leave uh, the brown on to kind of give that sort of dusty, uh, deserty, sandy look. Um, you know, it's pretty even kind of all over so far. Um, one thing that I'd kind of just, again, recommend looking at is think about how you're wearing the armor. Chances are the high spots are gonna be a little bit cleaner from just rubbing up against, you know, your other leg or your blasters or whatever. Um, so, you know, areas like this on the, on the um, I guess this is the inside of the calf, you know, they can probably be a little bit less dirty than say the, the nook or the, you know, the sort of indentation here, or even in here, you know, that's gonna be a lot dirtier. Um, same with these kind of high spots, like these corners, you wanna try and just take a, a little bit more off those than you would anywhere else so that, you know, it brings that kind of 3D kind of quality to it, right? Another area is maybe here, kind of along the ankle, um, just getting that high spot, um, that sort of lower edge there. And then, you know, your cover strips, if you're doing this, uh, um, you know, just uh, kind of the ends of it, right? So let's just say, um, you know, I'm actually pretty happy with uh, the way it looks right there. If you think it's a little, if you want to go for the super dirty look and, and you know, go for it like that, that's awesome. Um, if you're thinking, okay, overall, it's still not quite, you know, it's a, maybe it's a little bit too dirty. Um, Here's a tip is, you know, you've got this dirty side of the rag. Um, the more you continue to use that, um, the more paint you're actually kind of spreading around. If you want to actually clean off a layer, just use kind of a cleaner portion of the rag. Um, and just this time, don't push down super hard. Just kind of give it a, a wipe. And what that'll do is it'll sort of take um, everything down kind of a little bit more evenly. So if you don't want it quite that dirty, um, that's not a problem. You can just kind of even stuff out by uh, you know, just keeping the cloth a little bit thicker. You know, don't have your fingers right up against the, the, the cloth kind of poking through, otherwise you're gonna end up with a hard spot. Um, but you know, I, I think that looks pretty good. And if I just pull out this other shin that I did yesterday, um, you know, you always kind of want to compare the parts and, you know, see like, okay, are they actually matching up? You don't want one that's super dark compared to the other. Again, I think a little bit dirtier on the lower part of the body instead of the upper parts, okay? So, um, now the key here, as we move on to the next part, when we put kind of the oil texture on, is let this dry before you put on your, your kind of oily black mixture. And the reason is, if I put it on right now and then do the same thing and wipe it off, um, you're not gonna leave much of the brown. The brown's gonna end up coming off too. So if you can let that dry even just for you know an hour or something, or even overnight, move on to another piece of armor, um, that would be really, really good. Um, if you're in a hurry, use a hair dryer, dry it off. And again, that'll give you that nice multi-layered look. If you put wet on wet, it's just gonna pull both of them off. It's not gonna look good. So I've got this piece that I did yesterday. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Again, trying to keep uh, the brown, you know, not too, too crazy. Um, and we'll move on to our next color.